guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the second video in my note taking series where I show you guys how I take notes for each of my different subjects. And today's video obviously is on how I take notes for chemistry. The first video in this series was on how I take notes for economics, so I will link that up here and down in the description below if you want to check it out. But today we are doing how I take notes for chemistry. So let's get into it. So like I said in my previous video, for every single subject, the very first thing I do when I go to make my notes for a certain topic is I will go to the syllabus document and look at the pointers for that topic because those are the things we are going to be tested on. Those are the things we need to know. So I make my notes based around them. So that is always the first thing that I do. And then basically for each syllabus point, I will make notes under that heading. So for example, I've got my notes here that is on, what's this on? Acids and bases. So I looked at the syllabus under acids and bases and one of the point things was like about strong electrolytes and some stuff about that. So I made my heading strong electrolytes. So once I know that I'm doing like strong electrolytes, I will then go to my class notes and in chemistry, we get given like a booklet of notes that we go through in class. And then I also write additional notes in my like lined exercise book thing. So I will go through the booklet of class notes and my other notes that I've also written in class and compiled all of the information on strong electrolytes and then put it into my actual notes. Um, we don't really have a textbook for chemistry this year, but I know next year we do. And I find it really helpful also to go through the textbook and see how they word things because sometimes the textbook like words things in a different way that can like help you understand it better or like kind of help you then put that information into your own words again because if you have um, a definition of something from your class notes and then from your textbook you can kind of make your own definition using like both of them like not make up your own definition but like put them together to make a definition in your own words that works for you and you can remember so yeah, it's good in your notes to kind of combine information from all different places and like put down in your notes stuff that's in your own words. Um, I don't know if that made any sense, but yeah, basically I just go to all the different sources where I could possibly get information from and combine it, condense it and put it into my notes. And once I have gone through all of the pointers with all of the information um, and written it all out, then I will go through and highlight my notes. In chemistry, while the, it is quite a content heavy subject, there's not as many things that you need to actually memorize. So what I do is I kind of just go through my notes and highlight the things that I need to memorize or the things I really need to know. And then the other examples and diagrams and other little bits of information I don't highlight. So basically the things that I really need to remember and like are really, really important will stand out to me. But ultimately all of the information on my notes is important. So I don't just go through and like highlight it all because that there's not really any point in doing that. So I just highlight the really, really important stuff and then leave the really important stuff there. And obviously when I'm going through my notes, I will still read it, but it just doesn't stand out to me as much, which is like the point of highlighting. So yeah, I just go through and highlight or I actually just go through, sometimes I go through with a couple of different colors, but normally I just go through with one different color because there's actually not that much stuff that I'm highlighting normally on a page. Like for example, this page here, um, yeah, you can see there's only like two things that I've highlighted out of like, this is the information on electrical conductivity and this is ionization of multiprotic acids um but there's only just two little things i've highlighted there um because those are the things that i really need to remember and commit to memory but yeah all of the stuff on there is obviously important because that's the point of making notes it's to condense the information that you've been given 
onto paper like you don't want to have stuff that's not important on there so obviously everything on there is going to be important so I will just show you what my notes look like so here we have heading as strong electrolytes and then I just have little information on all of that so this is a subheading obviously of the whole acids and bases topic so subheading and then sub subheading and then information 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 just in dot points summarized no long sentences no long paragraphs you need to summarize your notes and have them in dot points because that is the whole point of notes you're not going to remember long paragraphs and information in long paragraphs is not going to like kind of stand out to you when you're reading it you really need to try and condense the information as much as possible and yeah so that is basically what my notes look like i just keep them all in this booklet i actually have two these are my ones for chemistry this is semester one and this is semester two and they just have all of my notes from all the different topics and then at the end of the topic depending on how much information is in it i will create a one page summary mind map so this is my one for intermolecular forces and then here is another one that was for rates and energy and as you can kind of see each one is very different in a different kind of style because I find that then when I come to the end of your exam if all of my mind maps are kind of unique and different and in a different style with different colors and different pens I can remember them easier and remember each separate topic easier like i remember how the acids and bases mind map looked and that can help me remember the information about acids and bases um and kind of like i don't know it just helps me remember it to have lots of different like styles and techniques in there um it, i find that makes it easier to commit things to memory because they're all different i don't know if that made any sense but yeah i do have them in very different styles but basically for my mind maps i would just put the like heading topic thing in the middle like rates and energy and then branching off from the middle i will take from my notes like i make these mind maps using my notes so um i will just have each subheading as a branch off from that and then the really really important information under that subheading and I try and condense all of the information into one page I think that is so so important if you can at the end of every topic for every subject just to try and get all information onto one page in like a summary it really forces you to focus on the important things and then it's a lot easier when you're studying or just glancing over your notes you can just like look at one thing I think that's a really good technique to kind of have use um yeah so I definitely find that helps me just to summarize the information and focus on the important things also for chemistry I I make flashcards so here are my flashcards for semester to chem um and they are this thick so like there's not that many because I just I just focus on the important information you know <laughs> in chemistry I find that there are lots of things that you need to memorize like you know um, which acids are the strong acids and like the charges on ionic molecules and just there's a lot of kind of memorization stuff involved and then you also need to know some definitions like the definition of an acid the definition of a base and then you also need to memorizing um the like properties of an ionic compound there's just a lot of like properties and names and like organic names as well and structures and whatever that you can easily put into flashcards and flashcards are a very effective way use active revision and kind of test yourself actively rather than just passively reading over your notes and yeah chemistry is the main subject i use flashcards for actually just because i find like i said there's things like that that you need to kind of memorize and also i kind of cut my flashcards in half like normally they're this size you know but I cut them in half because I like to save paper. 
So those flashcards I kind of just make using my notes the parts that I highlighted as the things that I really need to know and commit to memory. Um, if that's something that would kind of fit on a flashcard then I will put that on a flashcard. So that is just another way that I kind of, I don't know, would you call flashcards notes? They kind of are. Or they're like, I don't know, maybe they're not. But yeah, that's just a bonus little tip. Um, yeah. So that is how I take notes for chemistry. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as I said, I've made one on economics and I'm also going to be uploading ones on physics, maths and English note taking in the coming few weeks. So if you are interested in seeing those, then feel free to subscribe to my channel because I also make lots of other study and revision related videos. So yeah, but anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you feel like giving it a thumbs up, that would be very much appreciated. But I hope you have a lovely rest of your week and I'll see you very soon. Bye.